my friends, this is Lionel Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video. And today I got a little bit of a treat for you guys. All right. I'm going to be sharing with you guys one of my occult classes that I have down on Patreon. This is going to be a free occult class. It's actually a occult class I made last year and posted to my Patreon. But I figured I would post it for everyone to see right now because it's something I see a lot uh, when I'm on Facebook and YouTube or whatever. And it has to do with the Baphomet. That's right, my friends. So, you know, a lot of people, they love talking about the Baphomet, saying it's Satan, it's a demon, anybody uses it is satanic, and this and that. But at the end of the day, they have no idea what the Baphomet actually is or what it actually means. And the occult knowledge, which means hidden knowledge, that it has, okay? What you guys got to realize is the Baphomet itself is neutral. It's not good. It's not bad. It's neutral. It is knowledge, okay? And the Baphomet itself, if you understand the knowledge of that symbol, it could lead you right out of this matrix if you understand what it's trying to tell you, okay? Now, obviously, there's been bad people out there. Uh, dark occultists who use it for their own uh, selfish reasons, okay? And they like to take it and be like, yeah, we know the knowledge and you don't. And they want you to be scared of it, okay? The powers that be want you to be scared of the occult. Why? As I said, occult means hidden knowledge. The powers that be have the hidden knowledge. And that's how they control and enslave humanity. Because the normal people, the sheeple, do not have the knowledge. They don't understand this realm. They don't understand who they are. And they don't understand the way anything works. That's how you control and enslave them. And if you can make them scared of the knowledge, even better. So people, oh, a cult, that's, that's demonic, that's satanic. I, I, I don't want nothing to do with the cult. That is part of the psychological operation. All that is, is hidden knowledge. If you learn that knowledge, you wouldn't be enslaved by them anymore. Same with the Baphomet. Ah, oh, that's satanic, that means Satan. I don't want nothing to do with it. Oh. It actually doesn't mean that. It actually has a much deeper uh, meaning behind that symbol. And it's neutral. It could be used for good. It could be used for evil. But at the end of the day, it's knowledge. And I'm going to show you in today's video how you could use this knowledge to understand the nature of reality and how we can escape the matrix. And it's very interesting. All right, my friends. So let's take a look at it. But I just wanted to say on Patreon, I got a seven day free trial of the occult class. You could go down there, you could see all the previous occult classes we've done. And of course, I'm always releasing new occult classes every month. So check out the seven day free trial. Link is down below. Or if you'd like to buy old Lionel a coffee for uh, my efforts here to help support the channel, I will send you some free occult classes to your email as a thank you. All right, the links are all down below. And now, uh, yeah. Let's break down what the Baphomet means. Take a look at this occult class from last year. Here is my decoding of the Baphomet. All right, my friends, so here we have it. Here's the image of the famous Baphomet. Let's just get right into decoding this now. So I'm gonna be switching back and forth between this image and this image here that's decoded it very well and I'll explain it to you guys but this one's very dark here you can't see everything so I'll show you back and forth okay the first thing I want to speak about is the Baphomet you know it's showing us the true reality of who we are within this simulation as you could see we have uh, animal right 
he's got the goat head. Okay, but then you can see here to the body, he's a human. Well, my friends, we know uh, this could be another representation of that Minotaur implant. The beast, right? We all have the mark of the beast. The Minotaur implant is your ego mind. It's the ego 4D AI astral entity that is not actually you. You are not your thoughts. We've all been infected with it. And that is the Minotaur implant. So whether it's using a bull or a goat head with horns, that's just symbolic of the 4D AI that we are, you know, we have our spirit, we have our consciousness of who we truly are, but we are also infected with that Minotaur implant, which is the beast. So that's one representation of the Baphomet, okay? So let's move on to the next thing. The Baphomet also uh, symbolizes the divine masculine and the divine feminine, okay? So as you can see here, we got the, eh, you know, female parts there, the, uh, the, the breasts, right? Uh, and then if you look down here, see that little shaft? That's the phallus, my friends, you know, the male genitalia there. That's what that represents, see? Male phallus, female breasts. That's symbolic that we all have aspects of the divine feminine and the divine masculine within us. All right? So it's showing that that's what's within us as well. What it's trying to tell you is we need to be balanced between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. You know, if you're too much of the divine feminine, you're going to have too many problems, maybe be too emotional and just out of balance. If you're going to be too much of the divine masculine, well, that has all of its own problems on its own. You know, you might not be emotional enough. You might be too much in your, uh, uh, you know, instinctive nature aggression, dominance, all those kind of negative characteristics, stuff like that, all right? We need to bring it back into balance if we want to ascend. And then, of course, that's the caduceus as well, right? You got the black snake and the white snake. See? Black, white. So that represents the kundalini, of course. How our kundalini is down at the base. It's on the phallus, right? The root chakra. And it represents the light and dark that's within us. Duality, right? And we also see that here. With the... Uh, here, we got the white moon there. I believe that's a moon. White, black, again. See? light and then darkness and it points to the moon down there we all have that lightness and darkness again the minotaur implant right we are originally light beings and light bodies of all love we come from love but then we fell down to this dimension we've been infected with the ai and uh, we have that struggle between light and dark inside of us see the symbol is really telling us a lot about this 3d matrix reality that we're in okay let's move on to another one here it also talks about the elements okay that's why you see he's got a pentagram on top of his head there and of course that represents the elements right the earth or, or uh air fire water all those kind of things, but you see that even more on here, okay? Like you see, he's sitting on the earth. There's the earth right there. He's sitting on the earth. This little thing there, that's the atmosphere. It's the air. He's got the fish scales, okay? The fish scales go up on there. I believe that's on the, let's see if we can see it better, see? Yeah, I'll just use this pointer, not my actual finger. What was I thinking? 
Those are fish scales, which represents the sea, okay, and water, okay. See, he's got more fish scales on him there. So it represents that part, okay. It says here we got a torch. Where's the torch? See, I can't see it in this picture. A torch right up here, okay? Torch can represent, he's at the top of the head, illumination, right? What it is, it's enlightenment, my friends, okay? The torch, illumination or enlightenment, it's bringing the energy from the root to the spiritual chakras, the crown, and the third eye chakra and reaching a state of enlightenment to ascend out of the matrix. Lucifer, you could say. The light bearer represents many of those things. We need to uh, bring the energy, right? The kundalini energy up and then become illuminated. I believe that's what that's trying to say with the torch. Oh, yes, and of course, the wings. He's got the wings. That represents the sky. More of the earth elements. Okay, my friends. Now, one representation. I think this is our last point here that I really like. Is, see, you got this here. The hand symbol. Everybody thinks that's evil in the truth communities. And remember, like I said, uh, have some people use this for evil? Absolutely. But it's not necessarily evil. That's as above, so below. Right? Which means what happens in the microcosm happens in the macrocosm. Right? What happens in this what happens in this 3D realm happens in the spiritual realms, you could say. As above, so below. It's the way this universe works. Everything takes place in the spiritual realms first, then it manifests into the 3D realm. And then, very last thing here, we have the writing on his arms. Which says solve. Solve slash dissolve. Okay? And the other one is coagula, which stands for coagulate. So what does this mean, you may be asking? Well, if we look that up here, uh, solve, coagulate, it's pretty much a metaphor to express transmutation, okay? Transmutation. And also, it means it's a principle that a substance must be broken down before it can be built up into something new, okay? It's all about overcoming that minotaur implant, if you ask me. If we look at everything that this meant, means, it's basically showing you ascension, how to escape the beast. Okay? How to break down that old beast statue, or beast pattern, so we could ascend out of here. Okay, you gotta break down the old, so you could uh, transmute into the new. You gotta be born again. That's releasing the kundalini, healing yourself from all your traumas, raising the energy, right, from the root. And then you have that uh, illumination, the torch, the light bear, right? Uh, you become illuminated. So that's my uh, take on the Baphomet, my friends. Of course, they've used this for evil, as we said before. But it's all about your intention. It's all about the way you uh, take it. You know, that's what occult hidden knowledge is all about. These things could be used for good or evil. It's all about your intention, my friends. But I hope this video shared some light on what this symbol is actually about. Thanks for watching, my friends. Lionel, signing off. The Baphomet is good. It's not evil. Religion has miseducated you to think it's evil. 
I'm gonna break this down to you from top to bottom so that you can gain an understanding. First of all, symbols speak to your subconscious mind. Symbols activate thoughts in the invisible realms of mind. Symbols are keys to understand higher things. This symbol can be used for good and the bad. The goat is a ground animal, represents the lower self, the ego. The wings are an air animal, represents the higher self, the elevated state. The dome he's sitting on is the earth element. The fish scales on the stomach are the water element. We have the fire element, also representing human enlightenment, the higher self and the kundalini. The wings also represent the air element. As above, so below. What happens in the mind happens in your external reality. The moon represents emotion, the feminine aspect of your consciousness. The moon is either on top of you, ruling your body, or you are standing on top of the moon, controlling your emotions. This is not the devil horns. It represents the lower self, the moon controlling you, your emotions. He's male and female, representing polarity of the physical plane, left and right. The Baphomet is a symbol which symbolizes the transformation from the lower mind to the higher mind, to a sleep to awakened and enlightenment.